Hello my friends, it's Danny, and today I have a super simple weeknight meal for you. I'm gonna show you how to make oh. my turkey and zucchini oh. skillet. You are gonna wanna try this. At least I'm gonna wanna try it. Now this is the time of year when we're all getting back to schedules and routines, and it's really important to have a few super easy, delicious, nutritious weeknight meals in your back pocket. And what I like about this one is it's super flexible, so you don't have to follow the recipe verbatim, and I'll give you options as we go. So the first thing I'm gonna do is chop up some onions and some garlic to get in the pan to get the recipe started. So what you need is one yellow onion, you could also use a red onion, they would both work, and a few cloves of chopped garlic. Now the easiest way I find to chop an onion is you just wanna cut off the stem end of the onion, just a nice slim, thin slice off the top, then lay it down with the flat side down, cut it in half, then peel off this outer papery skin, it's usually one or two layers right on the outside, and then you just wanna create like a tic-tac-toe board, right? So I lay my onion down, I go in with horizontal slices, and then you come back over the top with some vertical slices. And then once you've got that done, you just take the knife over the top and slice straight down and you've got a chopped onion. That is the easiest way to approach your onion. Then for the garlic, all you're gonna do is pull off the papery outer skin, lay my knife over the top and give it a good little whack and you'll see that will bust the outer uh, skin of the garlic open and makes it really easy to peel. Then from here you just lay your garlic down and chop it up. You can move your knife in different directions to get it nice and fine. And I usually like to do about four to five cloves of garlic for this recipe, but you can certainly scale that up or down depending on your personal preference. Then other than your onion and garlic, the only other thing that you need to prep is your zucchini. So I have four small to medium sized zucchini. If they were really big, three would be plenty. And all I do with this is I'm gonna trim off the top and the bottom, and then I slice it in half lengthwise and then I do that again on each half. So basically, you're slicing the zucchini into quarters, and then you just lay it down, flat side down, and chop. So you're gonna have like little zucchini bites, little bite-sized pieces of zucchini, just like this. Then once you've done that little bit of prep work, you're ready to bring it over to the stove and get cooking. So to get started, I've got a large non-stick pan that I'm gonna heat over a medium heat, medium high heat, and you want a 12 to 13 inch pan, so you have a good amount of size in the pan. Then once the pan has heated up, I'm gonna just get about a tablespoon of olive oil into the pan. Once that heats up, we're ready for the onions and the garlic. So you get the onions in the pan. As Soon as you hear that sizzle, that will always be your indicator that your oil is hot enough and ready to go, your pan is ready. So get the onions along with my garlic. Give that a pinch of salt, that's gonna help pull the liquid out get everything sauteing, and just let this go for a couple of minutes. Really what we're looking for is for them to get nice and fragrant and for the onions to begin to turn translucent. So once you've got your onion and garlic right where you want them, just like what I have here, you're just gonna push all of those veggies over to one side of the pan, and now we're ready for our meat. Now what I'm using today is one pound of regular ground turkey. Um, you could certainly do a lean ground turkey, but that's definitely gonna be a little bit drier. Um, but you could also do a ground bison, you could do a ground beef. Really use what you have or use what you love. So get the meat into the pan. I'm gonna season that again with a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper, and then using a wooden spoon Spatula, I'm just gonna start to break this up because what we want is to create little crumbles in the pan. So you just break it up, let it set a bit, work it in there some more, and once you start to see that you're losing that pink color, then what I do is I just start to mix the whole pan together. So I incorporate the turkey with the onions and the garlic, and this is gonna continue cooking. So ultimately, we want all of the pink out of the turkey, which it will be by the time we're done cooking, and the onions and the garlic are nice and translucent, super fragrant, and that's how you know you're ready for the next step. So now I'm ready for that zucchini that we chopped up earlier. I'm just gonna transfer that into the pan. You're gonna see that the pan is gonna become nice and full. Let's give that some seasoning. So I've got a big heaping tablespoon of Italian seasoning. Personally, I love buying um, seasoning mixes like this one. This way you don't have to buy every single individual spice that they have at the grocery store, right? An Italian mix like this has a mixture of parsley and basil and sage and thyme and rosemary. So you're getting all that in one bottle. So get that into the pan with another layer of salt and some black pepper. And then I'm adding in two 15 ounce cans of diced tomatoes. If you had a lot of fresh tomatoes, guys, you could use three or four cups of fresh chopped tomatoes here as well. Now, you may be thinking right now that it looks like it could use a little bit more liquid, but what you wanna remember is that zucchini holds a lot of liquid. 
So as it starts to simmer, it's gonna release that into the pan and we're gonna have more than enough liquid. So resist the temptation to add more. Another thing I would recommend, if you had it, you could pop a lid on at this point. I do not have a lid for this pan. Um, the only difference is, is this is gonna take a little bit longer to cook. The lid will help to speed that up a bit, okay? So guys, really here, what we're looking for is 15 to 30 minutes of simmering time. And really, it's just gonna depend on how you like your zucchini cooked. I like it a little more al dente, so I tend to pull it off after about 15, 20 minutes. If you like it a little bit softer, then just let it go for the whole half hour. You see what I mean here, guys? All the liquid that's re releasing from the zucchini, it's just perfect. Now, what I love about a meal like this is that we're getting a whole lot of veggies with a little bit of meat worked into the dish, so it's super satisfying. Plus, this pot is very versatile. You literally could use whatever type of meat you had on hand. You could swap out the veggies. You could use fresh tomatoes, um, canned tomatoes like I used. Really, what you wanna do is make it work for you. Once your meat is cooked through and you've got your zucchini right where you want it, what I like to do is I shut the heat off and then I finish this off with some grated Parmesan cheese. Again, completely optional, but I love the way it just brings the whole dish together. And then I've got a big handful of fresh chopped basil. It happens to be pouring out of my garden right now, so I figured why not? Right over the top. And then I'm gonna show you how I like to serve this up. Now, you could certainly eat this as is, maybe with some uh, sourdough bread on the side or something like that to turn it into a main family meal. Or you can do what I love to do and serve it over some spaghetti squash. It's absolutely delicious and it's a great way to sneak another veggie onto the plate. And for all of my meal preppers out there, this is also a great dish to make on the weekend and then you can store it in little individual servings to have for lunch throughout the week. So many options. I cannot wait to hear what you guys think of this dish. Mm. Mm. I love this meal. It's so simple, so easy, so delicious. If you want more easy weeknight meals, just like this one, make sure that you give this video a big thumbs up and let me know down in the comments below. And if you have not already, please take a moment to subscribe, like, and share this video with anybody else you know who wants to eat well, cook more, and feel good. Thanks so much for watching, my friends. I'm Danny Spees, and I will see you back here next time with some more clean and deliciousness. Cheers. Italian seasoning is a mix of um, thyme and oregano and basil and some parsley. It's a mix of a lot of the thick, like, <sighs> here we go. Ready? Mm -hmm.